Hello, everyone. Today, we would like to introduce our KDB 2017 work about incremental due memory RSDM in land cover prediction. Many researchers, governments, and non government organizations they are very interested in identifying land use and land cover changes. So, first, we would like to show some examples. Plantations are a key driver for deforestation in Southeast Asian countries, and they are usually related with forest fires and frequently lead to carbon emission and smoke pollution. In these animations, we show our generated plantation products in Indonesia from 2001 to 2014. We can see here that green dots for plantations keep growing over time, and by using this plantation products, we can easily capture the growth of plantations. The second example is about water monitoring. By doing this, we can better manage water resources and understand the relationship with climate changes and human actions. And also, we have many other applications like forest fire detection, problem mapping, and so on. Many existing land cover products are still manually created by visual interpretation of satellite images. So this process can be very time consuming and make these products not available in recent years. So in this work, we propose to build a predictive model using the available products from history, for example, before time step T, and then we apply this learned model to do the prediction in recent years from T plus 1 to T plus M. To do this, we use MODIS modest spectral data, which is available at 500 meter spatial resolution and has a temporal resolution of every 8 days. The challenges in this task are in several aspects. First, the data contains much spatial and temporal heterogeneity. Here, temporal heterogeneity includes seasonal pattern and temporal variation. The temporal variation means the spectral features of each land cover can change across years because of the changing environment. And if we directly apply the learned model to recent years, it will perform very poorly. And also, there are going to be some unseen or novel classes that will appear during the prediction process. And finally, the collected model spectral data can also be very noisy. So we propose to integrate a zero-shot learning approach into a dual memory RSDM framework. We first extract two sets of features, seasonal features and spatial context features, and map them into a space of temporal features, which are extracted from a set of observed land cover sequences. From temporal features, we can determine the land cover class output. Then we integrate this zero-shot learning approach into a RSTM framework. We incrementally update the model parameters and use the updated parameters to do the prediction at next time step. And we repeat this process in an EM style method. Please refer to our paper and poster for more details and also feel free to contact us for any questions. Thank you.